It's happening, guys. It's February 25th, 2012, and here's your Valve News. I haven't made a video in a while, and I'm going to explain that in another video. So, let's get started. First of all, the Counter-Strike Global Offensive blog, or the official website of Counter-Strike Global Offensive, has started and is being updated very regularly. If you want to check that out, links in the description. Uh, and it's a very nice looking site, although it looks like every other Valve related game blog, like Left 4 Dead blog and Team Fortress 2 blog. But it's nice that we're getting updated on the game's progress, and it'll be out pretty soon, because it's supposed to be out by the end of the summer, but you know, Valve time. What are you gonna do? Also, a survey is available for anyone who wants a beta key. All you have to do is go to the Counter-Strike Global Offensive website, take the survey, and people who have taken the survey will be picked, uh, depending on their answers, and will be given a beta key to be able to play. I've taken the survey, all my brothers have taken the surveys on their Steam accounts, my cousin, you know. I've kind of passed it around so we can get somebody with a beta key so I can record. Um, but if you want to try and take the survey to get a beta key, link's in the description. Uh, now, it will open up your Steam account when you click the button, so, you know, don't, like, freak out on me that I just gave you a virus or something. That's how it's supposed to work. And, you know, some new uh, maps have been done. There's a couple videos online of new maps, one called Train, which is actually kind of cool. And this video of a map called Inferno, which is another really nice looking map. But the game looks like it's coming together very well, and it looks like it's going to be a very fun, but mostly graphically driven game. Because it pretty much has the core Counter-Strike feel to it, with just graphical overhauls. Which is okay, but it's not particularly a brand new experience, which is, you know, still fine. It's a brand new Valve game. Who knows, maybe there's gonna be an episode three hint in there. And the other largest story that I've seen so far is that those NECA things, the thing I talked about in my very first episode, they're finally getting pictures shown of them, and they look fantastic. Here's one of the Scout, which apparently looks like a stuffed, like, teddy bear type of Scout, and then there's a full-sized portal gun. Remember that picture that I showed you guys when I thought the portal gun looked a little, like, spherical and it didn't look right? Well, guess what? I have no problems with this portal gun. It'll probably be very expensive, but that looks amazing. It's a portal gun. It's coming together to look very, very nice, and I cannot wait until these things are released because they look amazing. And one other story that I've kind of missed is that Team Fortress 2 in 2012 is going to be fantastic, and here are three reasons why. Number one, Meet the Pyro is definitely coming out sometime in 2012, although Valve time probably indicates that it'll be out by about 2015. But it'll be the last of the Meet the Team videos. But they didn't say that. They said it'd be the last of the Meet the Team shorts. Maybe there's a larger Meet the Team thing in production. I don't know. That would be cool. Another thing is that the Saxies will be coming back for a second annual Saxy Awards. Uh, not much information on that, but probably it'll be the same thing. People who win get the Saxy Award item, and yeah. Um, if you want to make a video for that, then you just enter it in, and then it's a contest. And yeah, it was a really fun time. I made an inclusion, but it was really, really poopy. And that for the year 2012, there's going to be something new in Team Fortress 2. Now, they say that it won't be a map, and it won't be a hat, but it could be a map-hat hybrid whatever that is. But it will be something new, and I'm guessing one of two things. One, they're bringing the civilian back. They're going to have escort missions, finally, that's been available in Team Fortress Classic and Fortress Forever since it was released, and because the civilian is in the game files. The only problem with it is that it uses the scout's model, but the coding for the civilian has been there ever since the game was released. Maybe there's going to be escort missions, or it will be a new type of a game mode. Don't be going to me saying there's going to be a new class. That is not going to happen. Valve spent seven years trying to balance out the game so that each class is fair when you play. They are not going to add a new class, because if they do, they would have to change every other class. So it's probably going to be a new game mode, maybe a spin-off title, I don't know. But, you know, look forward to it. It could just be a small type of a game mode, like Payload Race was. Um, but, you know, it'll, it'll still be cool, no matter what it is. So, new Team Fortress stuff, look forward to that. But anyways, that was your Valve News for February 25th, 2012. I'm Tyler McVicker. Adios.